Roethlisberger, Edward Bennett Williams, Eli Jacobs, Peter Angelos, and now David Rubenstein. For the first time in decades, the Baltimore Orioles look like they will have new owners. The Angelos family is reportedly selling the team for $1.7 billion. WMER 2 News, Jack Watson here now, Jack. This is the talk of the city tonight on social media, on the radio, everywhere. Kelly, massive, massive news in Birdland tonight. Puck News was the first to report it, and it blew up on social media and the sports talk airwaves. Now, we have not heard any official word from the parties involved, but there's a lot to talk about. So we went right to the place the fans were talking about it. I'm, I'm not going to lie either. I am elated. A chilly January night during the slow march towards spring training, the baseball news out of left field. Can I get a hallelujah? We're better to talk about sports than sports talk radio. The phone lines lit up over at 105.7 The Fan in Baltimore on Tuesday night, and they weren't talking about the Ravens. This is a great day in Baltimore Orioles history. The Angelos family, owners of the team for more than three decades, will sell the Baltimore Orioles. This is all according to a new report by John Orend of Puck News, who reports the deal is worth $1.7 billion, and in the group is David Rubenstein, the billionaire from Baltimore, rumored to have been involved last December. I finally have hope that maybe we can actually compete Long term. As fans calling in Tuesday night described, the Angelos family caught the ire of fans on more than one occasion. Just last year, ownership oversaw the suspension of play-by-play -play announcer Kevin Brown after he read over a graphic of the team's performance against Tampa. Then chairman John Angelos' comments to the New York Times last summer made fans fearful they wouldn't commit long-term money to budding stars like Adley Rutschman and Gunnar Henderson. Level folks in here that understand what needs to be done to sustain long-term success. And that's one of Birdland's main hopes. Take advantage of the bountiful roster organized by general manager Michael Elias and company. Hopefully they don't uh, get rid of Elias' crew. Hopefully they bought it because they like what they're doing. No doubt. Yeah, for sure. Rutschman fights it off, up the middle! And spend to field a World Series winner in Baltimore again. Now, once again, the Orioles, David Rubenstein, they have not commented publicly about this. These reports are still very young, but it's suddenly become a high-octane winter for Birdland, Jamie.